After all I did to get out of town, I am never going back to that place again. At least not without Mitchie. Gladys, my friend. Why are you crying? Maddie? Oh, Maddie! They fired me! <laughs> me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. Wake up, buddy. Wake up, buddy. Wake up, buddy. It's too well anchored. Mm, I can't drive that thing. I can't just leave Gladys laying there. You could be dying. Gladys laying there. He could be dying. I can't just leave Gladys laying there. He could be dying. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, ick. Shoot. Uh, it's stuck in there good. I guess I could always use a spare. And they're good. Piece of cake. Hi, Chihuahua. Don't think that's gonna work. That's not on fire. Soup's on! Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Uh, it's stuck in there good. No more demon heart to eat. Mm. 
<laughs> Still beating. Heart! Heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong. Beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? Mr. Lamaz, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation, at least not until now. Hector, no! <laughs> Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Woo! Mm -hmm. 
you doing? Hey, don't sneak up on me like that. Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. thrown away that little hand exerciser Domino got me for Secret Santa. on fire. Okay, I don't know what those weird noises are, but I think I'd rather go find out in the safety of the bone wagon.
Looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Can't pass up an old creepy key. Monsters on the other side, I'm happy with this thing locked.
I'll just drop this one. I'm carrying around too many of those already. I could swim a single stroke in that tar. No, I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar.
That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could I leave without Gladys? This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. the bone wagon I couldn't take that off with my bare hand if only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exercise or domino got me for secret Those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies.
That should do it. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little... Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little... This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. While you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. That should do it. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little... I climb it myself, but I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. This place gives me... I'm ready to... This place... I'm ready... No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. This place gives me the I'm ready to Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. That should do it. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little... This place gives me... I'm ready. This place... I'm ready. While you have that off, let me try moving those weights around. That 
mission. Still not enough. And hey, maybe if I move the... This place... I'm ready to... While you have that off, let me try and... Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. That should do it. Maybe if I move them around a little... Still not enough. And maybe if I move them... Can't reach. This place... I'm... This place... I'm ready to... I moved them around a little. Thank <laughs> you. 
Still not enough. It may be Maybe if I move them around a little... Switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. This place. I'm red. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't want to drive this thing all over the forest. You will once I get that two-stroke in there. <laughs> Hey, while you have... Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera! like rats, but from now on we soar, like eagles, heh, <laughs> like eagles on pogo sticks! What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. the racket the whole town's asleep but i want a drag race when they get a load of my car we're gonna be the talk of the town kid you're right we're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show speaking of hiding i wonder if mitch is here already i'm gonna go see what i can stir up not a bad piece of real estate actually it's got potential <laughs> Watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicav ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? Ooh. 
We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks. But it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she, too, was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so... I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only room for one. Hey, how do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That's how. Let's hope I never have to take that road again. You sure a woman named Mercedes Colomar never came through this town? She might have. I don't know. I told you the first time, I'm no good with names. Ever seen this woman? Oh, 
if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny, we were- Hey, look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port. And I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name. But don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. How about in the attic? That's the boss's office. You can sleep there when you're the boss. I could sleep out here on the counter. Our customers may all be dead, Manny, but we still care about hygiene. I could sleep under the sink in the kitchen. The rats would steal your toes in your sleep. Look, I need a job and I need a place to stay. I told you, you can have mine when I'm done waiting for my wife. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. 